Hello and welcome to the Status Report highlight for the 27th of June, 2017. We're still getting small weekly fixes for Experimental 0.62 and Stable, and the rest of the team are super busy with actual development work on 0.63. And while 0.62 has been an amazing atmospheric stepping stone while we wait for beta, let's have us some new information from this week's Status Report. Kicking things off with Creative Director Brian Hicks who says, Beta isn't just about the new animation system and related components. The programmers responsible for the central economy have reached the end of what they can do on 0.62, and a lot of work to address some of these issues has actually been done, but is on 0.63 branch. There are many small details to DayZ that have a ripple impact on all connected points of gameplay, and the economy is a perfect example of this. Without it functioning properly, all the fancy improvements, fluid character movement, enhanced visuals and so on, won't matter because the new player to DayZ won't be able to feel like they can learn, master the world. They won't feel empowered early on to take the challenge of surviving in Chernerus, especially if they can't understand how to find basic supplies. With that said, I don't need to remind you that the economy is a very important part of DayZ. We all know it's not quite there yet, but we do know the team are working very hard on making the economy work for DayZ. After all, how and where we find loot is the backbone of survival. Now let's move on to lead producer Eugen, who mentions, with the mindset of developing technology first to enable our vision for DayZ platform, we have gone through a number of changes internally. Things were cut, changed, deprecated and sometimes reintroduced to get a good and fun anti-game first and foremost. However, all the work that was necessary to achieve this vision has shown us how large our technological debt was at the time. All that led to plans that were clashing heavily with how fast we were able to remove the debt and we ended up prototyping a lot of our vision in old technology to see what works and what does not. We have shown a number of roadmaps that have proved to be a failure on our part. Anticipating or predicting the effect that the technology debt can have on development speed is a very hard endeavor. It has always been a good plan long term for both the game and the company, but we all do believe that what DayZ is supposed to be has not been achieved yet, and we plan to deliver on that notion. If you look at the gameplay of DayZ, one of the main and core pillars of it is the player itself. We have created mind maps on the design side that help us with the long-term vision of how and where the player interacts with the environment, or with the game. The graph you see on screen now shows the base of what the new player should be able to do by 1.0, with most features being available during the beta. And that's only the overview of the player character interactions, not mentioning other features, say base building or the infected. Daisy is truly a vast in scope, and there is a lot to go through, but starting here is important. And finally for this week's Status Report Highlight, lead designer Victor, who says I'll be very short this time as we're still working hard on player character and firearm animations. But Victor can tease us today with a couple of gifts of some upcoming new gestures that he was talking about in a recent Status Report. These new animations include military gestures as well as some new taunts. Check them all out on screen now. I think my favourite's gotta be the elbow. Let me know in the comments below what your favourite new military gesture or taunt is. And that's all for this week's Status Report Highlight for the 27th of June, 2017. It was a quick one this week, but we do know the team are very busy, working hard away at 0.63 in beta. Morale is high in the studio, so hopefully beta comes sooner than we think. All relevant links are in the description below, and as always I recommend you read the Status Report in full yourselves for the most amount of information that they hold. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you like the content I create, and I'll see you peeps next time.